7 and in today's video I'll be explaining my Warp Tour experience. I haven't really been able to make this video for a while since I've been super busy and also I haven't really had time to make any videos in general. Um, I'll be able to try to make more videos more often because I've noticed I haven't been filming much as I used to. The only problem is that I have school coming up in literally two days so I have to like kind of like film when I have time. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time slash explanation of my Warped Tour experience. Warped Tour was definitely a different experience for me. I definitely wouldn't say it would, it topped my Panic at the Disco concerts. Because when you go to your favorite band, it's really hard to, like, top that. But I also saw a band I really wanted to see, a couple bands I really wanted to see at Warped Tour that day. So, I was still really happy with my Warped Tour experience, except... It's just really hard to top your favorite band ever because when I saw Panic Live, it's like all about them. So it's not really a short set. But yeah, Warp Tour was a lot of fun. Um, I was able to do things that I never thought I'd be able to do. I didn't crowd surf. I didn't mosh pit. I didn't do any of that stuff. But like, I mean like seeing certain bands because like there's so many bands there that I liked. I was like, I'm seeing a whole bunch of my favorite bands live. So... It was a really weird experience for me, so I'm going to explain the parking situation. So before we went parking, we actually had to leave my house very early, like very early to the point where it was like 8.30 in the morning and we drove three hours to get there on time. So we got there at about like 12ish, which is a good time to get there because everyone's already in and everyone's already like got like the way of getting in. But the parking situation was amazing. So, first we went to McDonald's, just like, go to the bathroom, come back in, like, get water, and then leave. So, like, we got, like, water in the back trunk, but we just wanted to get, like, cold water from them. So, then once we were done in McDonald's, we got back in the car, and then we drove to the parking lot. This parking lot was, like, a, I think it was a hotel parking lot kind of situation. And basically what you did is you turned and then there's a guy and you gave him like the amount of money to park there and then you turned into this other parking lot and it was like a big parking lot so like you would like park wherever it was free so you'd like go down the aisle because there's like a thousand cars parked in there so you're just going down and we finally turned and uh, then we were just like okay we're here let's take a rest let's stay here and get used to it. So then we all just fly out of the car. <laughs> we didn't even care. So we all fly out of the car and we go to the back of the trunk and we just all fill in our bags like with water, our ponchos, and like everything like that so that we don't get drenched or anything. Of course it rained a little bit but I didn't use my poncho either to my sister or my dad or my mom. Um, so we brought about like two bottles of water. It was like one of those really tall waters about that big. And um... I'm so happy I didn't pass out because uh, I was drinking water a lot <laughs> and I was my, that was my one fear that day that I was going to pass out because I'm not really one of those people where I can like get like a water drinking process going or I can like drink water and then be like okay I'm going to drink this at like two like I can't do that <laughs> a lot of people can do that they're like okay drinking it now I'm going to drink it in five minutes like I can't do that it's very hard for me. Um, so I was, like, very happy that I didn't pass out. Um, I witnessed my first ever mosh pit <laughs> that day, which is actually very, um, violent. <laughs> uh, it was during a screamo band, which is mostly where it happens. But it was, like, one of those mosh pits where, like, everybody's in it. So, like, there's, like, a big circle of people. And it was, like, shocking because, like, I w I'm not very tall. I'm only, like, 5'6"-ish. Yeah, I'm 5'6", and I had to stand on my toes so I could actually see, because there's so many people, so I could see the mosh pit, and it was, like, violent. <laughs> so going in, my mom gave me the tickets. This is also another thing we brought in when we were going in. And this time, my my ticket didn't get all ruined, like the panic one. That one's still holding in. <laughs> but we gave this to a woman and then it was like one of those things where you walk through it and it spins so like it locks next then they give it to you and it like unlocks and then it goes next so it's like one of those like 
entrances and um and then we just all folded them up that's why this is all folded up and then we put them in our pockets and we were ready to go in and this day was not as bad as the other days and I was so excited because <laughs> um I didn't want to get sunburns I don't sunburn very easily but I know if I'm outside like for t like a couple hours I'm going to get sunburned I can't get sunburned if I'm there for like two like an hour or so but like if I'm there for about like five-ish hours I get sunburned very easily so I was very happy I didn't get sunburned and um we just walked by this band that was a screamo band of course and there's like a lot of stages there's stages everywhere so like you hear music over here you have a genre of music over here like there's like different genres like there's a screamo band over here there's a rock band over here like there's like different bands everywhere and when you walk by you can just feel your heart or like your just body just going like this because you can just hear the music and it's just like hitting you like right there and then it makes your like voice echo and you're just like oh my god so loud this is so overwhelming what is happening and there's people giving you cards for their bands and there's people asking you to buy their cds for their bands it's just lots of things going on it's like multitasking everywhere whoa the first thing we did when we walked into warp tour was we walked up to this guy who's selling maps for about five dollars on this map you could see the map of warp tour and then when you flipped it around it would have all the bands that were playing like their times so I was on that. <laughs> I instantly grabbed it and I looked and there was all my favorite bands that were playing later, like earlier, and the band I was like totally going for was Set It Off because Set It Off is like also one of my favorite bands and I really wanted to see them. So they were playing at about 12.50 so we got there at about 12ish so we had like 50 minutes to like look around, walk around, get the gist of it, and like, hang out. So we really just walked around tents, looked at merch, and like, got used to like the scenery, I guess you could say. But the scenery is like so loud. Because I wanted to get as close to the front and set it off as I could, just like I did at the Panic at the Disco concert, I got there early, about like 20 minutes early, and I just went on my phone, I just kind of like sw swiped through. My phone's one of those phones where the back camera doesn't work. On, on the back, only my front camera works, so if I were to film, like, concert videos, I'd have to film on my front camera, which I actually had to do at my Panic at the Disco concert, my pretty recent one, and my old one, too, but then I just used my dad's phone. I didn't really get any videos of Set It Off Live because I didn't want to lose my phone because people are always jumping. It's a little bit more hype than actual concerts because, like, people are actually, like, getting ready to start mosh pits and, like, jumping up and like being able to push you and everyone's on top of you so it's really hard to put your hands up um except for when they tell you to like do stuff like this like if you're just like constantly keeping your hands straight you'd get like this all the time so like there'd be no good videos really so um i was pretty close i was only about like five no not even five probably like three feet from the uh barrier and it was a really close place. I was able to really see them up close and it was amazing. Um, so I learned at Warped Tour that bands did signings and I got super excited so I was like, okay, I have to get set it off. You know, of course, Warped Tour is one of those things where if you want to meet a band, that's your whole entire Warped Tour. Because like, it takes you all day. Because you're waiting in that line and you're waiting to get to the beginning. So I begged my parents, I was like, can I please meet them? And my dad was like, if you want to meet them, we have to leave the concert and go right now. So my dad made this really good idea where my mom or him would go and get one of the VIP cards and wait in line until the concert's over so I can run over. So that's what my mom did. <laughs> my mom walked up to this, these two girls and they were holding up a big sign that said, free set it off, meet and greet tickets. So got one <laughs> um and the funny thing is that we were still at the concert when my mom got that and the concert was still going on and I remember halfway through the concert my dad looked at me and then he showed me his phone and it said when the concert's over run to the set it off tent 
we are first in line. And my heart stopped. Because <laughs> I was like, we're first in line. Oh my god, we're first in line. <laughs> so we finished the concert and I bolt with my dad over to the set it off tent. When I got there, my, I saw my mom just casually wearing the set it off VIP ticket and she handed it to me and put it on me. And we stood there for about, I guess, like 15-ish minutes. And when that happened, you could just see the band walk through all the people with the security guards and walk into their tents. And I just freaking out because I always thought that my first band I'd ever meet was Panic at the Disco. I always thought that they would be my first band. But actually, it was set it off, and they were overwhelming. <laughs> I was trying to take a selfie with them, but I wasn't actually able to because there was a person who was already getting their thing signed before I was through. So, really what had happened was um, I walked up. This didn't have anything on it at the time. Let's just think of it like that. So, I walked up, and right before I walked up to them, the girl cut a corner off right there. And um, when I walked up, they were super sweet, dude. Um, Max was like, hi, how are you? And I was like, I'm good, how are you? And he signed it, and then he like did one of those things where he has it and he pushes it over to Zach, and Zach kind of just signs it super quickly, and then he slides it over to Cody. Cody's like, hi, and then he's like, he like looked right up to me, he's like, hi, and I'm like, hi. And he kind of signed it. I was like, I'm so nervous. And he's like, you don't have to be. So then he put his hand out and grabbed mine. That was literally the most amazing experience ever. Because when I tried to pull away, he wouldn't let go. So I just kind of like stayed there for like a good second, a quick second. And I, I just, I held his hand basically. And it was the most amazing feeling. Because like, when you know band members and they're so sweet, like, you know, like, they're like good because if you meet a band member or like a band that you really like and they're really like rude and they don't really care that's kind of like the worst feeling so the feeling of having them actually care and like being there to talk to you for like a split second is the most amazing feeling so then uh once they noticed Zach and Max noticed um they shook my hand and then I went over to Dan Dan was so sweet um he said to me uh did you go to the show? And I didn't hear him correctly because there's like girls next to me like screaming. So I was like, he's like, did you come to the show? And I was like, yeah, I did. And he signed it and then he shook my hand and I smiled and he's like, thank you so much for coming out. You're amazing. Um, we hope to see you next year. And I was like, next year? If you're performing next year, I'm going to meet you again. <laughs> but um, yeah, then I just left and really their signatures are really like different. Like all of their signatures. Are really weird so this is Dan's this is Cody's Max's just looks like a tornado you'd make in third grade and then there's Zach's and let me tell you they are the sweetest guys I think I could ever meet they were so nice and they like were very genuine with you and also when you got one of these they have a new album coming out on I think October 7th and it's a code I'm not really gonna show the code but it's a code for their new um, album called Upside Down. And it comes out October 7th and I already bought the whole album because of this card. And um, it's gonna uh, pre-download on my phone when it comes out. So that was really like a shocking experience for me. I cried afterwards. <laughs> After that, we really just saw a band called Tonight Alive. And during Tonight Alive, Lynn from Paris came out and my sister fangirled. I've never seen my sister fangirl before, but we both did. and. Then we really just had to leave because I had to go to Maine right after with my best friend. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. To give me even more support, hit the subscribe button right there. It really means a lot to me. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.